Hi friends, it's Ashley from Ashley's Paper Heart, and today we are going to be setting up my personal traveler's notebook. So this is actually my current, let me move all these inserts because I haven't decided what inserts I want to put in yet. And if you saw my hauls, you know I went a little crazy. Um, so this is my current setup for my personal um, traveler's notebook. It's in a Sojourner cover with the designer pocket on the front. And then I have my little meatball girl. I think this is actually like a postcard. Um, I put this in here because it reminds me of my daughter. Like, this is so my daughter. So I put that there. Um, I have the little Traveler's Company brass pen and then this little special edition wood charm on the front, which I'll be taking off. And this is kind of the state of affairs. I do have a back pocket and I put, this is, I believe, the pencil board from last year. So I will be moving that over. So currently in my personal setup, I have, I really should decorate the covers or put stickers on them or something. I might do that soon. Um, this is my personal, like, I would say this is my personal art journal. So I know you're probably like, well, what do you mean? personal art journal. Well, so the journaling I do in my Hobonichi, I definitely consider more memory keeping just because I don't really talk about my feelings. I don't talk about like things that are like super just relevant to me. I want those books to be something that our family can look back on. So I do a lot more journaling about what my husband or my kids are doing. And um, that's kind of what I keep in here. And here I keep things that are like purely pertinent to myself. So like when I got my haul from um, Chic Sparrow and I got my first passport, I drew a little picture, I journaled some. Um, here I just stuck in lots of the ephemera from my order and then wrote some stuff down there. Hopefully the sun, let me see if I can fix this. There we go. Sorry, the sun is like starting to come in the window. So and now I have a lot more stuff I need to add in here. But then I also write like super like personal feelings. I've been drawing in here with colored pencil. Um, so this is definitely, I need to journal here. I haven't written anything here, but I decorated the page. Um, this is definitely for me. This is my own personal like art journal, I guess that's what I would call it. So that will be moving over. And I'd say, am I like, I'm almost halfway. I'm very close to halfway through this insert and it's just the craft insert. Um, then I have this one. I purchased this from, I can't remember the name of the shop. It is a lady on Instagram. She does Instagram sales like maybe once a week, twice a week. She made these little traveler notebook inserts and this is filled with vintage onion skin. I believe like typewriter paper. It is very see-through as you can see. And I've been using this kind of like a, a brain dump, but I don't know if this is going to come with me to the new setup. So I'm going to put that over here because I don't think that's going to come with me. And then I have this really, really beautiful insert that I purchased from Nico Neko. I think it's Hannon Studio. So this was like a limited edition, like handmade paper. It has all these like beautiful papers with different textures. And this is one of those inserts where I'm like, it's so pretty. I don't know what to do with it. So I'm going to hold on to this and put it to the side. I think eventually this will be an art journal. Um, I'm just not ready for it yet. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else falls into that trap where you're like, oh, this insert's so beautiful. I want to save it for something special, but then it just sits and doesn't get used. And then what's the point of having it if you're not using it? Oh, so yeah, that's the dilemma I'm in. So I'm going to take off these charms because I'm going to move these charms over to the new insert and I will adjust all this back later. Take her out. So I really like this cover. I believe this is the olive, I want to say, leather 
from Sojourner. It's really like soft and suede. I just, I bought a brown Travelers um, Company notebook cover and I really want to use this just because I've seen like the way these patina and they patina beautifully. And so I want, my goal is to take this with me. Like this goes in my purse, this goes with me everywhere. That is the goal. So let's start by putting the charms on. So I don't really have nails, so hopefully this does not take me forever to like fiddle. Oh, it came apart, good. Sometimes it can be tricky to get these charms on there. Um, I'm trying to think how do I want to do this. <laughs> it's sometimes it's like a puzzle. Like how how do I do this again? Okay. So we're gonna put one side back in and hopefully I do this in a way where they're gonna line up straight. This has got such a like a small hole to it. It was a little bit of a pain to get it on the Sojourner elastics just because their elastics are a lot bigger than the elastics that Traveler's Company uses. Oops. Okay. So I'm going to try to pull these even as even as possible. And then just tie it back the way that it was, hopefully. I'm trying to get the knot like as close to the end as possible. There we go. So let's see. So if I loop it down underneath, it sits perfectly. So that is that. And then look, I already have a little like scratch. Although the scratches do seem to buff out if you rub them. I really like this leather. It is thicker and a little like stiffer than some of the other leathers I have. So I have my jump bands because I will definitely be using jump bands in here. So the things that are going to be coming over definitely are going to be one, this art journal that I am currently doing. Um, I need a notebook for like brain dump kind of thing. So I was thinking maybe maybe not that i was thinking maybe this um sumkin little gridded notebook might be a good like brain dump and i think later i will be decorating these inserts like in a different video when i have more time so i definitely want to connect these with the rubber band because there's only two elastics in here, in order to get like a good setup, I would say you need to start connecting things in the bands. So I want this to be like first. And so this is the center. I think first you're supposed to like stretch these out. Hopefully I don't like break it and pop myself in the face. Is that a fear anyone else has that you're gonna like break the elastic band and just like, pop yourself in the face with it because that is definitely a fear of mine. I remember when I was little my brother and I would like shoot rubber bands at each other for fun. I know. <laughs> we were, I don't know, we were weird kids. Did anyone else do that? <laughs> so um, next I want to put this in. So I'm going to connect this one to this okay i won't want this to get like terribly chunky um i need to be selective about what i'm putting in here just because i don't want um i want this to be portable i don't want this to be like crazy huge by the end of it so something else that I definitely want to put in here is my new uh, leather insert. So I'm going to cut the tag off of it. And this came from Baum Kuchin. Um, this is one of the soft goods one. I think it might be like 
something that is to them like uh, exclusive to their shop so this is just an undyed leather like pocket wallet thing and I'm trying to decide if I want to like loop it around this I might do that let's see how that works out like loop it around the brain dump folder well that's nice okay so that that worked out well what I'm learning is that these like softer folders do better if you loop them around a notebook so they like hold their shape I actually just set up my passport brown traveler's notebook as a wallet and I had to I had one of the cotton covers and I needed to loop it around the uh, loop it around the what am I trying to say a book to keep for it to keep its shape otherwise it was like curving in on the ends although this because it's leather may have more structure to it okay so then we have this elastic band and what I was thinking about that one is that I did get the insert for it's the Midori um, or it's the Traveler's Company sketch book insert so the paper is thicker I've actually never used their sketchbook paper so I don't know like what media it would take to very well I'm assuming any dry media would be fine so ink and pencil maybe markers I might do a test in the back but this is definitely like thick and it does look like the pages are perforated like in the center so you once you're done I guess you could tear stuff out if you wanted to which is nice so I'm gonna put this on the back elastic there we go and then I'm gonna adjust it a little bit because you just <laughs> kind of have to fiddle with these things so as it stands now it's already a little bit chunky um, so I probably don't want to put anything else in here what I am going to add is this pen loop see I almost wanted to put one of the vinyl folders in here as well um, I don't know like uh, I don't know this might be the only folder that goes in here I need to be like realistic about like how much space I have in my purse we'll see this this setup may change um, that's I guess to be expected obviously this doesn't fit so I'll probably like just tuck this in there oh now it's like really really chunky okay let's see what's going on there we go it does take some playing with it does take some adjustment um that's just kind of like the name of the game with these things especially when you're like shoving it full I love personally I love seeing super chunky inserts um so I don't know if that's the right thing to do but I do bend these open a little just because they can be like super tight but then I open it too much and okay let's try that again you do want it to hold on to the book so there we go there's the pen or the pen holder and I think right now oh it's got all sorts of crud on it <laughs> okay so I think right now I'm gonna use this uh, zebra sarasa vintage color and this is like what plum or something I don't know it doesn't have the name of it I love these pens I love the vintage colors so I will definitely use this one and this will be a good um, fit. I actually have another Sarasa one on my travel journal that I keep. So this ideally will be coming with me everywhere. Um, maybe in the future if I need it I will stick in this like undated planner but I don't know yet. I don't know if I would need a planner in this one just is more for like brainstorming um journaling and sketching so that's kind of what my plans are for this book so let's 
put the bookmark in. And it'll definitely take a little like fussing with to get everything to like lay down properly, but that's just that's just the name of the game. That's the fun part, right? And I'm already like getting little dings and stuff and I'm here for it. I love to see these things like patina and get all the character it gets from, you know, being around in someone's purse and getting thrown around and plus just squishing the leather. So that is my setup for the my personal traveler's notebook. I am so excited to use this um, in the coming year. I'm excited to have a place to like really take my thoughts with me on the go and do some sketching. I'm hoping like we have plans to go to um, a museum this week so I'm hoping to sit outside and do some sketching of some of the uh, statues and the architecture of the building. So hopefully I'll have something to show in a, a week or two of that. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!